Hello and welcome to Lunchtime Politics on Channel's television. I'm Millicent Walker. On the news this hour, after a three-day extension of collection deadline, the electoral umpire will seize the distribution of permanent voters' cards across the country today. And the Supreme Court will be delivering a judgment over the crisis rocking the All Progressives Congress in River State. And the new Commissioner of Police in Quara State speaks up after protests over his deployment ahead of the 2019 elections. Welcome everyone to Lunchtime Politics. Now, after today, Nigerians will not be able to collect their permanent voters' cards until after the 2019 general elections. The deadline for collection was shifted till today by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, after a series of agitations by some parties asking the umpire to extend the dates for collection. The commission, after its Friday morning meeting in Abuja, extended the date by three days, asking its staff to work through the weekend to enable more people to have the opportunity to getting the cards. Let's go live now to our correspondent on the ground to see how Nigerians are reacting to the collection deadline. There appears to be a lot of activity there uh, from Kano. We believe Idris Jibrin, our correspondent, is at the INEC office uh, to give us the latest there. We'll also, we'll be talking to our correspondent, Kayla Megua, who is uh, in Abuja, to also give us an update of the collection in the nation's capital. Do we have her yet? Okay, perhaps we will come back to her and Idris. But in the meantime, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, they have asked the Nigerian police to increase presence at all offices of the commission across the country after the fire incident at one of its offices in Plateau State. The commission says the fire incident that occurred at the Kwampan local government office of the commission in that state on Saturday, the 9th of February, is the second of such incidents in less than a week. Now, some of the items destroyed, according to INIC, include over 5,000 uncollected permanent voters' cards, 280 voting cubicles, 755 ballot boxes, about 14 generators, election forms, and official stamps. The first incident occurred in Isyalangwa South, local government office of the commission in Abia State on Saturday, the 2nd of February. Now, the commission has notified the acting inspector general of police of the emerging trends of the burning of the local government offices of the commission close to the conduct of the elections and at a period when the commission is engaged in a massive movement of election materials nationwide. Well, let's go over to a bit of politics now. The Sanya Bata Stadium in the city of Kano on Sunday played host to the People's Democratic Party presidential rally with a huge turnout of party supporters. Over 12 persons were taken out of the stadium by security officials after they slumped in the crowd. The party's presidential candidate, Atiko Bubaka, and members of the presidential campaign council had on arrival in Kano visited Mambia House, and that is home to... Uh, the late leader of the People's Redemption Party, Aminu Kano. Until they declare the result. 
because APC wants to read. That is why they have not been campaigning. They want to use our security services, they want to use INET so that they can read. This election has been won by PDP. You have won your election. You have won your election. So defend it. President Mohamed Buhari is asking Nigerians to support his re-election bid as the countdown to the presidential election continues. In a recorded message to Nigerians, the president says that although there's still a lot to be done, his administration's achievement is good enough to earn it a second term in office. Hello, compatriots. It has been over three years since you gave me your mandate to oversee the affairs of our dear country. It has not been an easy journey. But with sincerity of purpose, perseverance, dedication, and most importantly, support from individuals like you, we have made great progress. Some of these achievements are visible for everyone to see. Some are still in the works. I hereby humbly ask for your support again in the coming election to enable us to move to the next level and to consolidate on the successes recorded in making our country a better place. I don't take your support for granted. We will continue to work to protect your interests and deliver our mandate. Thank you. Well, Mr. President, they're speaking on that. Uh, but let's take us back to the INEC uh, right now, the Independent National Electoral Commission. You know, they've asked the Nigerian police to increase presence at all offices after a few incidents that we've had play to uh, the most recent and, of course, Abia State. We have the INEC uh, Chairman's Chief Press Secretary in the person of uh, Rotimi, um, who is joining us via our Abuja studios or via Skype, I believe. Rotimi, uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us in Lunchtime Politics. Let's ask you first, is today the final day for PVC collection across Nigeria, or will you, by any chance, extend it. So I know that the National Association of Students, NANS, they're asking for an extension as ASU just uh, resumed, I mean, just called off its strike to give them an opportunity to go back to school and collect their permanent voter cards. Thank you very much. We are not extending the deadline. Um, today is the deadline. Uh, the opportunity to collect the permanent Oh, yeah, I think we're happy to be having a terrible connection there, but hopefully uh, we'll come to Mr. Rotimi Oyekomi um, very shortly. In the meantime, Mr. President Mohamed Bari and the APC team are in Kwara State, and I believe they will be in Ogun State later today. Well, the rally is part of the APC quest to convince voters to re-elect their candidate for a second term. Meanwhile, leaders of the APC in Kwara State are pretty confident of the president winning in the state. One of the party leaders, Mr. Iola Uyedeko, tells Channels Television that the APC is on ground ahead of the president's visit. I declare our support for the second term deed of our president, Muhammadu Buhari, because we believe he has done very well within the limits of the resources available to him and to the country. And the glaring resistance to positive change by some reactionary elements in our country. We have found that Mr. President's re-election can only help to entrench the masses of our country as opposed to the oppressive rule of some political contractors who see government as their private estates. Mr. President should be aware of Quarren's 
that quarrels salutes his courage and are not party to the shenanigans of characters who are not known for any public good in their life. Well, let's try and get over to our Abuja studios where our correspondent Kayla Megua has the latest uh, updates on the collection in the nation's capital. Kayla Megua, if you can hear me, um, tell us what's happening. How easy has it been uh, for, oh, I see a large crowd there uh, with regards to the collection of PVCs. Go ahead, please. <laughs> Okay, so we are back at the Model Science Secondary School here uh, at Garaki, where we were last week uh, when the deadline was extended till Monday. And the crowd has reduced considerably. It's not as rowdy as it was last week, uh, but uh, everyone is still here. The line is moving very gradually, but moving nonetheless. Uh, apparently, the INEC officials have been working throughout the weekend uh, to ensure that everybody gets their PVCs so that they can exercise their right to vote when the elections come on uh, in a few days' time. But the crowd is still here, and everyone is optimistic. There's a sense of optimism in the air where they think, you know, we're going to get our PVCs today at least. Uh, but uh, it's, it's a very gradual process. But optimistic that it's going to be working out, Millicent. Sheila, have there been any other issues, perhaps certain people who have tried to locate their cars and they've told them uh, they don't have it or, or it's, it's, it's not the right uh, face? Have there been issues like that? Because we got certain reports uh, from other states that these are some of the issues that people are facing. Absolutely. Same questions last week. A lot of people here uh, come with their temporary cards, and then when they get to the to get their to, when they get to the window to collect their PVCs, they tell them, "Well, we'll come back next week," or we, "It's not ready." That's usually the like the most of people that we spoke to here today. The question is usually, "Where is my card?" And they say, "It's not ready. It's not ready. It's not ready." And this is affecting a lot of people who uh, who actually. Um, applied for transfers maybe they wanted to vote in one area and they decided that they were going to be transferred uh, to another area those are some of the issues that they are having there Millicent. I'd like to thank you so much Kayla Megua with the latest there on um, that collection of PVCs in the nation's capital let's now speak to a security expert on the security situation across the country ahead of this weekend Paul and we have joining us from Abuja Studios a retired um, Police Commissioner Abayomi Akirimale, I would like to thank you so much for joining us on Lunchtime Politics. Um, how ready would you say the Nigerian police is to deliver on its mandate of providing a safe and enabling environment for the conduct of the general election? Well, to the best of our knowledge and what we have seen so far, the Nigerian police has put in place measures that will provide a conducive environment for INEC officials as well as the voters during this coming election. Nigeria police has been able to send a contingent of senior officers in all the zones, zonal command and uh, headquarters, zonal command headquarters, to enlighten the police on what their role should be, how they should respect human rights, and at the same time, make electoral offenses known to the electorate so that we we'll have a history elections. Preparation is in top gear by the Nigeria police. And the new Inspector General of Police, Adamu, who is uh, an international man, is used to the uh, best global practices. He's a man who has spent nine years in Lyon in France. He's an international man. He speaks French like the French people. Conte Sagi de Francais et le Chelui. That is to say, when it comes to French language, is at home. I ask you, I mean, the police is also responsible, if I may, the police is also responsible for uh, pre-election, during, and then right after post. But if you've noticed, the campaigns that we've had, uh, Taraba State, uh, perhaps Kano as well, we've even lost a, a number of people. What, what was the police's responsibility to ensuring safety for campaigns? Yes, uh, there are three phases in the election. 
that is uh, before, during, and after the election. And these three faces have been made known to the police. I think it was because of the large crowd at that particular situation that resulted to that minor hitch. But it's a lesson that the police should increase the manpower and make sure that uh, policemen are positioned quick intervention units, not too far away from areas of a uh, large gathering. I think we've taken a cue from guests. that and it will not happen again. All right, well, we'll come back to our guest, Mr. Abayami Akarimali. Uh, let's quickly take a break. When we return, we'll also be giving you updates on the situation at the Supreme Court over the Rivers APC matter. Do join us again.